Hi there, it's Lisa with Juju Crafts. I recently received the Molly Harrison fairy tale style stamps uh, from Crafters Companion, and I've been playing with them for a couple of days now, and also using the Crafters Companion glitter inks and aqua tint ink jars for backgrounds, as well as the Harmony ink pads. And I am just in love with these. They made the most beautiful cards and so easy. Uh, I didn't really do much different other than just make a background, color the image, stick it on. Um, you know, there's a few little dies here and there, die cuts, uh, and a couple little embellishments and rhinestones. But other than that, it's just the images themselves. Just how gorgeous they are. So I thought I would share them and just show them off a little bit. Um, this one, that's the Anna Griffin Fern dies, but it's the... Um, Crafters Companion Spectrum Noir papers uh, for watercolor on the background uh, using the glitter ink jars and the aqua tint jars and then I used the Spectrum Noir alcohol markers for the mushroom top and the fairy wings and the Crafters Companion Harmony water reactive ink pads with a brush and some glycerin for the base and the grass. Oh and well I accidentally cut my mushroom off too short so Glued on some crushed parsley there for uh, grass, <laughs> but it turned out okay. And this uh, white gel pen to add some little dots, but look how pretty that turned out. Makes me happy. Whoop, crash burn. Okay, this one, again, Molly Harrison, gorgeous image. And then the, um, the big tree here is a Sheena Douglas Crafter's Companion tree die. And the, uh, well, so are the pine trees. They're dies from Sheena Douglas and Crafter's Companion. And again, the same thing with the background, just a water uh, aqua tints and glitter inks. And then sh this fairy, though, is colored with the Spectrum Noir Crafter's Companion alcohol markers. Just a few little rhinestones there added for fun and glittery things. They can look like little fireflies in the sunset. How beautiful does that turn out? You know, I, ugh, it's probably the cutest card I've ever made. I just love it. She's so pretty. I haven't done the inside yet, so um, I'll probably just make those individual. You can tell I got my little rigging up here because, yep, you're not going to see my messy craft table. That's the truth behind real crafting, isn't it? We don't really have it all nice and neat like you think we do. Well, some of them do. Nah, not me. This one finished today uh, using the, um, what do you call it? The stencil that came with some of the ocean stamps and uh, inks that came, I think they came out several months ago, and I had almost forgot that I had that stencil until I pulled out this mermaid stamp that also came with some of the Molly Harrison stamps. And this is actually pretty dimensional, as you can see, <laughs> and uh, I probably will have to include it in a package, not just mail it, because uh, although all these are plastic and acrylic, this one right here is actually glass. Uh, but it was the only one that I had that was the perfect size to fit right in there so I couldn't pass it up. And I used art glitter glue behind these clear little domes. And I was so impressed at how perfectly clear it dried. So that is just art glitter glue that held them in place. And again, she's just colored with nothing but water reactive ink pads. And the same ink pads were used to create the background. And that is um, Crafter's Companion Sparkly Paper. The purple is, uh, the matte colored purple is a basil, and the black is red collections, but uh, the stamped images are on Spectrum Noir's papers. And the, if I can get this over here without knocking over my backdrop. I love her. I think they call her, I think her name is Sultry Sue. I think that's what Sarah called her on HSN. But again, she is just the, um, water reactive ink pads, dab them out, put on a little glycerin, put them on a paintbrush. And this is some of the stamped images from another fairy set that Crafter's Companion had a little while back. And after I stamped them, I just put a lot of little teeny tiny rhinestones in them. Aren't they just lovely? What gorgeous images. Just wanted to share. Thanks so much for watching.